bananas. I want to see how many times I can say bananas during this video because this video is going to be a homage to the banana. So if those people who are allergic to bananas, don't like the smell of bananas, um, have a distaste for bananas, uh, this may not be the video for you. For those who want to know why a company called Papyrus jumped 155% in one day and why it's even going higher today, I'm just recording this video just after close on Monday the 9th of November, this may be the video for you. So why did Papyrus jump 155% in one day? Why is the share price going bananas? So who is Papyrus? So if you can read that, you'll see why I've been talking about bananas all through this video. So they have this uh, technology that convert um, banana palm trunks. I can't think they call it banana tree trunks, BTT. It's sort of an alternative, to, or they're using it as an alternative to um, trees and converting that alternative to uh, paper, packaging furniture. So it's sort of an alternative to wood, I suppose, the best way to can, you can talk about it. Now, no revenue, but I think that's going to change uh, in the next financial statements. And they've been on the ASX for a while. Uh, I don't know how long exactly, but since 9, or 2012, the market cap has been less than $3 million. So they really haven't gained traction and they have had some fails in the past. I'm getting into that in a second. And um, I've got a little asterisk there because as of Friday, the 6th of November, uh, even though I got there November 8th, that's a Sunday, the market cap has jumped up to 16 million. So they've had three big spikes in the past few months, and the biggest one was on November the 6th, the Friday. So this is just looking at the chart, and you just see there what happened on the share price. It closed at 5.1 cents on Friday, the 9th of November, up 155%. In fact, a one day share price went above 10 cents. So in fact, it halved during the day from 10 cents to 5 cents. So at one point, it was up over 300% in one day. Massive volume too. You can see it's $120 million, 121 million shares were traded. And if you look at the chart on that, you can see a few spikes in the share price. So the one in August, there was another one in October, start of October, and one in the start of November. So something's been happening with this company over the past three or four months, which has getting the market excited. And each time it's getting excited, it's just been getting more and more excited. And you can just see that in the volume. So volume, and this time around, 121 million shares traded has been substantially more than previous times has been excited. In fact, when I go back uh, further in time, there were months where it didn't trade much at all. So we're starting to see much more liquidity come into the market for Papyrus. So this is the first sign that something was happening. This was August 24, 25. We saw the share price increase 11% one day on the 24th. And on the 25th of August, it increased 80%. And trade shader was much higher than normal, 13.4 million. And in fact, because of this trading, they did get an ASX price query from the ASX, which uh, if you don't know what that is, it's just uh, the ASX looks for share price and volume anomalies, anomalies for companies. And then they uh, sent out an query to the company saying, is there any reason behind this increase in share price and volume? And so you can see this is what they said. So the share price in uh, PPY securities went from zero, less than one cent, 0 0.09, to high three cents in the last few days on increasing volume too. And of course, when Papyrus um, answered that, they didn't have any explanation. The second sign was in early October where we saw another big spike in share price. Uh, went up 21% in one day and the next day it went up 106%. Looks like there was a weekend in between those days. On a little bit less volume than the previous August activity, but still they got another price query. So this one, you saw the share price go from 1.8 cents to a high of 6.5 cents. And again, a significant increase in volume. And again, Papyrus said, we don't know what's happening. Um, it could be many things. And then this. So this is the day that Papyrus just blitzed the ASX. You can see the start of the trading day. This is one day, three minute candlestick chart. So all these little candlesticks are three minutes uh, periods. And you can see a massive amount of volume in the first hour of trading on Friday, the 6th of November. So share price went from 
uh, less than three cents all the way up to above 10 cents. So it increased by over 300% in one hour. And then the rest of the day just drifted off on lower and lower volume, which is actually quite healthy. To see share price drift lower on low volume is quite healthy. Yes, what do you want to see? You don't want to see a lot of volume in that selling off. So what caused all this? So this doesn't just happen for any particular, you know, nonsical, no reason at all. Maybe the other two events in August, the start of October did, but this was uh, driven by a catalyst. And this was an announcement they released at 8.22 a.m. Papyrus, Egypt, Progress and Sales Report. So uh, if you do actually read that announcement, I did, I don't know anything about this company, so I just read the announcement and it looks like uh, they really originally had some Australian aspirations and that's uh, those aspirations failed for numerous reasons uh, based off, uh, I think, they couldn't, couldn't get enough banana trunk production, uh, wages were too high here, that sort of thing. So they decided to rethink their plans and that led them to consider two things, Egypt and then consider more carefully the potential products that should focus on developing to demonstrate the commercial viability of utilizing waste banana tree trunks. I never thought I would ever talk about banana tree trunks in this sort of video. Never thought the Australian market would get extremely excited about banana tree trunks. Not only banana tree trunks, waste banana tree trunks. But that is exciting for one reason. It's a company thinking outside the box, thinking that, you know, instead of banana tree trunks just wasting away, maybe utilizing uh, waste banana tree trunks. And it's also funny, they've talked about Egypt because papyrus, if you don't know the history about papyrus, I'm pretty sure that's where papyrus was first used in 4000 BC or something. Um, you can correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure papyrus in Egypt are very um, closely linked in past history. Uh, so what they've done in Egypt, uh, it's fairly complex, the structure of the company. So we can see there's an acquisition of line by Papyrus Egypt, and they manufactured or constructed a factory, commissioned the plant, and started production sale of the products and development of markets and sales to the stage of present profitability. And that's the important thing here, is the present profitability. As soon as they mentioned profitability, that lit up a bit of a, a bit of a, you know, not a light bulb, but it just perked my, ooh, profitability. That's the one thing you really want to hear about is a company has entered profitability. So they're talking about profitability here. And if you continue down into the announcement, they've not only mentioned profitability there, they've also mentioned profitability here. Um, they've mentioned that their manufacturing operations in Egypt are now profitable and they expect that profitability will increase. In fact, they say likely to be significantly more profitable than simply the manufacturing price. That's the licensing. So uh, they are talking about being profitable now and potentially being even more profitable in the future based off their licensing agreements. So, and then right at the bottom they say, profits are expected to improve markedly in the medium to short term or short to medium term, justifying the attention of the company, blah, blah, blah. So. That's what's got the market excited, that they've come into profitability and they expect that profitability to just boom in the future. This is the company structure. So this is something exciting, not exciting, but something I really, um, it's not exciting, it's just interesting because it's a sort of a complex uh, structure. So we have Papyrus Australia, they have a 13.6% equity stake in uh, an external company called Egypt Banana Fibre Company, EBFC, and both those companies, Papyrus, Papyrus Australia and EBFC, have a one share stake in Papyrus Egypt. So Papyrus Australia has a stake in EBFC and a stake in Papyrus Egypt, and that's where operations are, have begun. So just a share price update. So I'm doing this at the end of trading on Monday the 9th of November. And uh, the share price has gone up again this today or today by 43%. A lot of excitement to the start of the day. So this is a two-day chart, five-minute chart. So the previous chart was looking at three minutes. This was looking at five minutes. You can see uh, at the start of trading today, Monday the 9th of November, there was a lot of excitement. That's where we saw the high. And I see this a lot actually where we see the start of the trading. That's where you might see the high in a day. And don't be too impatient buying in a company like this. And uh, instead of drifting down lower, it just drifted sideways for the rest of trading today 
on much lower volume. So uh, nothing too bad in the share price today. Wouldn't be surprised to see a lot of profit taking over the next few days of trading. Um, there's going to be a lot of uh, short-term traders or long-term tra holders too in substantial profits. And wouldn't be surprised to see that some of those uh, traders and long-term holders take profits over the next few days. And that's nothing to be concerned with. So that's all I've got on Papyrus. Probably should call us Papyrus Australia because that is, uh, we also have Papyrus Egypt. But um, yeah, funny to be talking about a banana, a waste banana tree trunk business on the ASX. And pretty exciting to be thinking that the market is really excited about this sort of business that is not, you know, it's not in tech, it's not in mining, it's not in uh, something traditional you'll find on the ASX. And it's just something different. And that's actually exciting. It's one of the reasons I really like uh, stock uh, investing in the stock market is just finding these obscure companies that are doing different things. And that's what makes it exciting. It's probably a pretty environmental friendly company too, that they're finding an alternative for wood, so a wood product. So it's exciting as well. So if you are a holder of Papyrus, uh, maybe leave a comment or two. I'm not a across this business as well as I could be. I'm still going to be researching this company. But um, exciting times for shareholders and I'm very excited about this company. So that's all for, I've got for today's video. Um, if you have any questions, leave in the comments below. Uh, subscribe to my videos, blah, 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 or my, what do you call it, my um, channel. And again, I'm not a professional advisor. If you do need to seek professional advice, make sure you seek out someone who, who is qualified. I'm not qualified. So um, I'm just doing this for educational entertainment and research purposes. So have a good day. See you later. Bye.